Hi there, this is Ricardo Ferri from Spectral Audio, and today I'd like to show you what's included in the new 1.4 firmware update for Engine, which is now available. This new update includes two new generators, Luar and Looper, the new call media effect, new features such as the param view, undo system, dynamic variations, 11 new song mode event types, two new CV output modes, updates to the menu system, shortcuts, and a completely new tool for managing files. Engine 1.4 features a new polyphonic generator called Luar. Inspired by the nightlife of Sao Paulo City, Luar uses a completely new algorithm to create sequences based on dual Euclidean gate sequences. It's designed to create rhythmic patterns that can dynamically blend between monophonic and polyphonic sequences. The balance parameter makes Luar focus on lower notes when it's at zero, higher notes at 100, and chords at 50. Luar can also use different chord expressions to play generated chords in a variety of different ways. Also new in 1.4 is the new Looper Generator. Looper works as a simple polyphonic looper that can record MIDI notes up to 2 bars and 32 notes. It can record MIDI coming from external sources connected to engine's MIDI input or from any other track via the AUX output. Each node is also assigned a random density value and it's possible to quantize both the pitch and timing of all notes non-destructively. Looper also features standard parameters, such as transpose, length and density, and the recorded loops can be saved and loaded from patterns. The 1.4 update also includes the new call media effect, which offers different ways of distributing denser sequences to separate instruments or octaves, inspired by the call and response technique. It splits incoming notes into two separate groups, based on pitch, beats, note count, or note length, and modifies the notes in the second group to act as a response to the first one by routing them to the next MIDI channel, so it can be played by a different instrument, or by transposing them to a higher octave. The distribution can be controlled via the threshold parameter, and the probability of each note group can be controlled independently. Let me show you how you can use this effect in action. So here I have one synthesizer listening to MIDI channel 1, and another listening to MIDI channel number 2. An engine is currently playing them using two separate tracks. I'll disable the second track, and add the call MIDI effect to the first track. Because target is set to channel, notes from the second group will be routed to the next MIDI channel, by changing the mode and threshold, we can split the sequence coming from Acid Gen on track 1 into two separate groups, meaning that the sequence from my first engine track will be split between two synthesizers. I can now control the probability of each instrument separately, and even try different sequences or even different generators.
to help users check what parameters are currently mapped to engine's four knobs. We've added a new param view that can be accessed by scrolling to the left with the menu encoder on any menu that you see this knob icon. This new view lets you quickly visualize what parameters are currently mapped to the four param knobs, including the parameter name, value, and knob number. While in this view, Engine automatically disables the animations and highlights the last parameter that you interacted with. To exit the param view, you can press the return button or scroll to the right using the menu encoder. The generate functionality in Engine was also upgraded to give you more control and flexibility when generating new sequences. It now lets you adjust the variation amount and randomize the track state per generation by holding the generate button and scrolling counterclockwise to reduce the variation amount or clockwise to generate and randomize the track state. You can also use this when generating new patterns via the track generate shortcut. Another feature we're introducing in Engine 1.4 is a new undo system, which lets you revert to previously generated sequences by pressing function and return. The undo system can keep up to 16 previously generated sequences in memory, including the value of all parameters, and it's compatible with all generators and media effects that use generated sequences. There are also two new CV output modes available in Engine 1.4, CV1 Extended and CV1 Plus Clock. CV1 EXT, or CV1 Extended, uses CV2 to output the velocity of notes routed to the CV plus gate 1, and gate 2 to output a random value when a note is played. CV1 Plus Clock lets you use CV and gate 1 to convert MIDI notes to CV and gate as usual and CV and gate 2 to output an analog clock that can be used to sync other gear such as modular synthesizers to engine. In this case, CV2 outputs a 16th clock and gate 2 outputs a reset trigger. We've also updated other parts of Engine's UI. We've added a new icon that indicates which parameters only affect the next generated sequences. We've also updated the scale feature in Engine to add a new user scale. The settings for the user scale are stored within the project file, allowing you to customize it for each project. Song mode was also updated to include 11 new event types that lets you control and automate the settings for engine's scale and all available clock generators. The track number is now displayed during animations, and animations for disabled tracks are now blurred to indicate the track active state. The track selector now displays what track is currently selected. And we've also improved how Engine handles different views during manual navigation. We've also updated some of the shortcuts available in Engine. You can now mute or unmute the currently selected track by holding the track clock button and pressing the menu encoder. This new shortcut makes it easy to toggle tracks on and off as you scroll through them. Along with the new 1.4 update, we're also releasing a new tool for Engine, the Engine Web Manager. The Web Manager lets users manage files available in Engine's internal memory and microSD, get system information, and load example projects directly into memory. It can be used directly in the browser, without the need of any additional apps or drivers. The 1.4 update also includes upgrades to the Court framework, reduced saving and loading times, improvements to the menu system, updated generators, and more. For more information about the new 1.4 update for Engine, check out our latest blog post at spectroaudio.com slash blog. Until next time, and as always, thanks for watching.